coming at you with another Alpha Zero Crush, an instant classic immediately. That's the definition of instant classic, by the way. But yeah, um, Alpha Zero is white yet again. Uh, it was a 100 game match, and Alpha Zero had, well, white in, in 50 games, and 125 of them with 25 draws. But it only managed to win three games with the black pieces, and the other 47 were drawn. So it didn't, didn't lose a single game. But okay, Alpha Zero white. And yet again, we see the Queen's Indian. A different move order this time. Note that uh, Stockfish went to b6 on the second move, but we arise at the same position as we had before. Now we had two games where uh, Stockfish went bishop b7, and we had this uh, Pologievsky uh, pawn sacrifice with d5. But this time we have bishop a6, which is uh, more of a modern move, you know, c5. And Alpha Zero insists. I will sacrifice a pawn. So we see this uh, constant uh, sort of disregard for pawns uh, in the games of Alpha Zero, which is quite interesting. So it gives up a pawn here. So Black has a choice of if and when to take that pawn. And he elects to take here with a knight. White castles. So for the pawn, White, of course, has lead in development. He has already castled his king. Meanwhile, the Black King is stuck in the middle of the board and he's lacking in development uh, a feature we've seen in other games by Alpha Zero against Stockfish Knight c6 Rook to d1 the Knight is attacked and it must either retreat or go to a b4 and well I was wrong there actually bishop b7 because if you take on d5 there's Knight b4 Let's just quickly demonstrate that. If we take here, knight here, and then we capture here, and we won the exchange. So bishop b7, queen f5, and now the knight retreats to f6. Okay. White plays e4. Otherwise, black might have thought about d5 himself. So white is trying to restrict the black development, g6. Queen goes to f4. And stockfish castles. Now e5 is played. And note that with a pawn pinned down here on d7, black sort of lacks, uh, how to put it, lacks coordination in his position because of this. Plays knight h5, queen goes to g4, rook e8, and now on with development, knight c3. GOC square available on d5 for this knight. Queen b8. Attacking the pawn. So knight d5. Allowing the capture of the pawn. But on the other hand, that's a, a very dangerous proposition. We're gonna take. Queen takes. And yeah, here we have a number of moves. Uh, the most Principled would be to take on e7 and then just capture the free bishop. So this is a poison pawn. Which, of course, Stockfish didn't take. Uh, they went bishop f8. Bishop f4, reinforcing the pawn. And note that knight takes f4. You have to uh, calculate stuff like knight f6, which I'm sure both computers did. I'm not going to do that h3, knight e7, knight went back to e3, bishop to g6, and rook to d6. And now, yeah, quite soon we're going to see an interesting rook to f6. An interesting maneuver of the rook here to f6. Queen b7, bishop h6. We have an exchange of knights, and rook d1. And after this, queen h4, bishop c6, queen h6, we have a most interesting position. I, I don't think I've ever seen all the heavy pieces lined up like this. And this seems to be like uh, Alpha Zero speciality, to pin your opponent down. I mean, he's got full control over the black squares with his, with his queen and his rooks. 
and it's sort of pinning down the black position and this is like a recurrent feature in uh, many of the games that uh, we've seen from this match so bishop takes f3 so white is all dressed up but where to go that's the thing and for the moment stockfish says zero upon zero zero it sees no way forward but in many of its losses it, it says that it says zero that's the assessment and then after a few moves it's like oh no i'm lost so it's like uh alpha zero is just killing its uh horizon effect in in a, in a way horizon effect is uh how far the computer can see or calculate so c4 is played i mean it's not really easy to uh, suggest moves for black so he's just trying to advance something on the queen side c3 logical getting one uh, step closer to perhaps getting a passed pawn on the king side with the 2 to 1 majority we should d1 and we often see this uh, nice handling of the pieces here we see the bishop uh, redirecting to the queen side uh, and it seems to have a much better job on, the, on this diagonal lined up against the king with some p potential pins and stuff rook d8 rook went back to f3 and stockfish pinned that rook to the king and still it says 0 0.00 bishop to d1 and pawn to h6 and that, that's, that's a really uh, dangerous pawn because if we can line up the queen on the diagonal here we're going to be able to keep checkmate and furthermore because we cover the g7 square with the pawn the back rank becomes an issue for black in some lines knight c7 was played rook d6 knight went back and bishop went back to b3 and now uh black takes the pawn here on e5 and now things start to happen rook d5 now stockfish played a strange move um computers aren't aren't really worried but a human might be worried about this diagonal like we talked about earlier the queen lining up here perhaps some sacrifices taken on e6 and potential made on g7 so seems like stockfish wanted to keep control over this diagonal and put the queen on this awkward h8 square and now things happen quite quickly queen b4 Attacking this guy. Knight c5 looks like a normal move. But now the sacrifice of the exchange immediately. Rook takes c5, queen h4. Attack on this guy. You have to do something about it. And once you do, rook f6, blocking the queen. Brilliant stuff. The queen is just busted here on h8. Completely busted. White has total control over the position. And it seems like Alpha Zero just understands the position. Well, Stock is just, is just making moves. It's just making moves that it thinks, okay, I don't see anything wrong with this. But, uh, <laughs> you know, the horizon fact is just, uh, it's just killed. A5, I mean, Black doesn't have any moves. It's just running out of pawn moves. But it improves. And now okay, it takes the pawn that's on, on hand here. And, you know, what to do if you play a uh, move like rook d4 i'm gonna take on f7 so you can't really move anything rook takes and beautiful back rank stuff here you can only interpose first the d rook and then the f rook and then the queen will simply capture here aided by the rook on f6 with checkmate so that's why uh stockfish can't find anything here it's just running out of pawn moves a3 Meanwhile, Alpha Cedar just waits, Queen F3, you're welcome to make a move, picks up the pawn, and here, uh, realizing that you can't do anything, uh, Stockfish takes on F6, but this is the same as resigning the game, and it's only a few more moves, the pawn is coming as far as it can, and another brilliant win by Alpha Zero. And uh, I just can't get enough of these games. It, it's like, it's it's just it's next level stuff, man. Uh, that's the only way to put it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Please like, subscribe.
leave comments, questions if you have any, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.